He Shun was Emperor Tianlong's favorite official. He was the most greedy and corrupt official in history. Legend said the wealth accumulated by He Shun was more than 800 million taels of silver. The money and treasures he owned far exceeded the revenue of the Qing dynasty in the past 15 years. He Shun was born in the 15th year of Qianlong's reign. His parents died of illness when he was still a little boy. When he grew up, he gradually became a good-looking an intelligent young man. At the age of 18, he was provisioned in many languages, including Manchu, Chinese, Mongolian, and Tibetan. He was also familiar with four books and five classics. Later, He Shen married the granddaughter of a governor and participated in the imperial examination. In the 37th year of Qianlong's reign, he successfully passed and took the post of a third-class bodyguard. At first, He Shen was dedicated to serving the country. He was soon appreciated by Emperor Qianlong. Legend has it that He Shen was noticed by the emperor because he was handsome. Some even said he looked like one of the concubines of Emperor Qianlong's father. Only after three years, He Shen was promoted to the guard of the imperial court. A year later, he was promoted promoted to the left servant of the Ministry of Housing and the right servant of the Department of Personnel. In the 43rd year of Qianlong's reign, he became the general manager of business affairs. He Shen was good at serving the emperor. When the emperor coughed, He Shen would immediately give him the spittoon. Also, he was talented in different languages and was good at financial management. He soon became Emperor Tianlong's most favored and trusted official. Since then, his brilliant career had begun. In the 41st year of Tianlong's reign, He Shen was awarded the right servant of the Ministry of Household. Two months later, he became the Minister of Ministry Aircraft. One month later, he became the Minister in charge of the Ministry of Internal Affairs and served as the Vice President president of the National History Museum. In the 51st year of Qianlong's reign, He Shen was awarded the highest official position in the Qing dynasty as a first-class Grand Master. He Shen once held more than 60 important official positions, showing the trust of the emperor in him. The emperor even married his daughter to his son. He Shen's party's members were all over the country. By the 53rd year of Qianlong's reign, he was able to overthrow most of the opposition forces. In the 55th year of Qianlong's reign, He Shen established a system of silver for crimes or negotiating the crimes. If officials committed crimes, they could be excused by paying a certain amount of money. The money received would be collected into the treasuries of the internal affairs and used by the emperor, so that if the corrupt officials were exposed, they would only be fined. Therefore, officials were bold to offer and accept bribes. Corruption was widespread throughout the court. He Shen became a powerful and corrupt official. He obtained overseas trade income from the Guangdong 13 banks. He controlled merchants across the country and dominated the imperial examinations. He also earned a large amount of money from illegal industrial and commercial businesses. He used the name of the imperial family to take advantage of his own business and became a wealthy and successful businessman. In 1796, when Emperor Jiaqing succeeded the throne, he had no real power. The real power was still in the hands of Emperor Tianlong. Therefore, even though He Shen had been impeached for many times because of Emperor Tianlong's protection, he was able to escape from it. Until 1799, the fourth year of Jiaqing reign, Emperor Tianlong died. Five days later, Emperor Jiaqing decreed that He Shen was fired and sent to prison. It was said that He Shen's wealth was more than 800 million taels of silver. At that time, the annual revenue of the country was only 3 to 4 thousand taels of silver. The total saving of the country was around 70 to 80 million taels of silver. Wealthy people and aristocrats normally only had a net worth of about 100 thousand taels of silver. So the amount of his wealth was surprisingly enormous. In fact, there was no exact number written in the official record. But after Emperor Qianlong died, Emperor Jiaqing ordered to search for He Shen's place. Eventually, a lot of treasures and money were discovered. 
they included 1 million gram of gold and 93 million gram of silver. Besides, He Shen was a big landlord. He owned 20 pawn shops, 1,001 houses for rent, and 1,200 hectares of land. With all this money, He Shen led a very extravagant life. He lived in a luxurious mansion, which consisted of three areas and a large garden. The garden was comparable to the one in the palace. Everything was up to the standard as in the palace. One of the rooms were even made of VB Shannon, an expensive kind of wood usually only used in the palace. He Shen also built a luxurious villa in the countryside, which consisted of 1,000 rooms. He also had 200 pearl bracelets, which was more than the total number in the palace. The pearls he owned were even larger than the pearl ornament on the emperor's crown. In the morning, He Shen usually ate congee made with pearl powder. He had a million pieces of clothing in his home. He even had a large amount of fabric and leather in storage. Even though Hershen was rich, he was ungenerous to others. He never gave his money to his concubines. Fifteen days after Empress Xianlong's death, Empress Jiaqing gave Hershen a piece of white silk to commit suicide. Hershen wrote a poem before he died. It said, The stars are surrounded by the cold moon, and the solitary ministers are sobbing. After the fall of Hershen, half of his luxurious mansion was given to the prince. It eventually became the mansion of Prince Gong. His villa was given to Princess Hersha. Some treasures were given to the officials and servants. The rest of his assets were sold and became the country's saving and was collected by the treasury of the country. Eventually, everything Hershen owned was vanished.